All right, what's up, guys? So, Hot T, she has uploaded a video titled What Happened to Trisha Paytas, Fiance's Cats, OMG, did uh, Trisha Paytas make Moses get rid? Hey, yo, I would never in my life get rid of some my pets, my pets that I ain't taking care of uh, because the significant other, like, I, because my thing is, is that I look, I'm a big, like, dog person. I love dogs. Um, I really, it don't matter whether it's a small dog or a big dog, like, fam, if the dog was already in the house first, like, you, 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 you can go, so I'm, that's, you know, to overall just say that and things, but, yeah, I would never, if, I'm like, fam, if you don't like that, I can understand maybe if you're allergic, I feel like that's just something, like, that's something that I will ask them beforehand, but if not, and they're like, oh, no, I just hate cats, I'm like, well, why? I just hate them. I don't like them. I'm like, ah, well, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. So, yeah, I honestly, I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting rid of my pets. My pets. I'm like, nah, fam, that ain't going to work. So, but anyways, if you guys haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Hot T for more videos like this. Her personal channel, Ray Rahimi, and her business channel, Build Your Pocket. But in that being said, let's get into this video. Like, fam, I'm like, I didn't press the button on pause. I'm... I've been sitting there for like five minutes like when the video gonna start Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. We're gonna be talking about Trisha Paytas coming for Lauren Gray Britney mm. Spears's victory and her ongoing conservatorship. Yeah, case against her I mean this is an older video But yeah, I'm I, I am happy for Britney Spears like finally, you know this woman, it's like years late, but it's very, um, it's very late than never. But yeah, I'm like, I am happy for her though. But anyway, ex Disney star Kyle Macy skipping out yeah. on his hearing British TikTok influencers, the Smithy family's devastating house fire, and so oh. much more. But before we get into it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this I channel, and turn your post notifications on. All right, let's get into it. Trisha Paytas took to TikTok to address her 400th apology video to former Musical.ly star Lauren Gray. Side note, <laughs> did anyone see that Trisha deleted her apology to Ethan Klein off of her channel recently? Oh. Anyway, Lauren Gray appeared on the Zack Sang show and spoke about her latest singles, Life With Her Boyfriend, and Trisha Paytas. This mm. Bryce calls you out of the blue. Yeah, it was a failed prank. It <laughs> what, was what, really what, flopped. What was the prank? Clearly, I failed. We were I don't supposed know. to be like holding hands and then the pop was supposed to like catch us holding hands. One really interesting thing that came out of that, Trisha Paytas was talking about me on Frenemies and she said that girl that no one knows. And I was like, damn, she's talking about me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, Trisha, was that bad about you? Yeah, she, she, was, cause she was talking about it. I was like, oh my God, like Trisha Paytas is gonna, like, she's gonna talk about me. And that was my big moment was Trisha was like, yeah, that girl that no one knows. And I was like, Dang. For context, Bryce Hall invited Lauren Gray to do a prank on the paparazzi and it failed. Ethan and Trisha reacted to the clip on Frenemies back in February. I'm mm. gonna be the most hated person on no the interview. Interview. Literally nobody cares. Okay, this girl? Do you know her? No. <laughs> she was like the Charlie D'Amelio of Musical.ly. Before TikTok was Musical.ly, this girl was oh, like really? the mm. biggest. Is she big on TikTok? She was, and now nobody cares. Hmm. But this is what I'm saying. They all go into oblivion eventually. Hours after Lauren. Well, she's like, um focus an upcoming album yeah it's like this girl's moved on and stuff i don't know who she is but i'm like i wasn't into musically back then so i i i'm not gonna let me be the spokesperson of who to know and who not to know like you can't ask like one person and be like oh do you know who uh lauren gray is and then they're like nah then you think that's like the biggest victor of your whole life like fam nobody cares that he doesn't know who she is like i think that's the one thing that doesn't matter but anyways Interview. trisha took to tiktok to address the whole situation and here is what she said my apology of the day goes to lauren gray i saw this pop up in the zach thing show and i saw my name there and i was like Oh my, oh my God. I am just, I'm just an a-hole sometimes. Like I say stuff to be funny or edgy. I knew Lauren, I know Lauren. She did a prank with Bryce Hall that I thought was like dumb, but I do dumb and she's young. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry, Lauren. I obviously knew who she was. I followed her on TikTok forever. She actually went to like the same trainer as I did for like a minute. And I was like, oh my God, like she's cool. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, kind of piggybacking off that. Um, just in general, I feel like because the reason why she's acting like that is because yeah, Lauren wasn't, you know, going off on her. She was just cracking jokes about it. And now Trisha Pay is it's it, it, it hurts to see stuff like that. I'm like, fam, if you like the person, okay, if you don't, don't act like you do. Like, 
it's it's just it's it's not a good look for but anyways. me i feel like when someone talks about me on a podcast especially in passing like that like i'm very sensitive too and i can like lauren by the way was really sweet about it like i feel like i would have probably gone exactly. off on somebody you know i've gone on for off her way last so she was really sweet and classy and um she's very like young and i was just like oh way more mature than this 33 year old but let let her see her like at a party and lauren's like i don't want to be bothered with you oh 15 videos then came out about lauren that the same night like literally minutes after that whole situation like she already has the videos like ready to be published and things right like but in general i just want to say like if you're a young influencer like it's a setup like i know it like can kind of hurt or sting but just to keep in mind that it's really for entertainment and views and it's usually like old people like myself or wendy williams or the women of the view or you know regis and Kelly. They're always like old people trying to use the name of young, hot, current people to get people to keep watching their show. And it's it, for me sense. personally, it's never personal. Like if I if I talked about anyone in front of me, it's like it's never personal unless your name is David Dobrik. But other than that, it's always just for fun, for views. And I'm sorry. She sums it up by saying it was just for entertainment and views and even invites Lauren to her wedding. Here's some hmm. comments under the video. This person says, only apologized because Lauren said something nice exactly. about Exactly. If Lauren was actually offended, Trisha would have said, you're in the public eye, expect it. Yep. Oh my God, this is so true and so Trisha. Literally, <laughs> Trisha has this tendency to talk about absolutely everyone yeah. until that person like Says starts something. love bombing her yeah. she talks shit about people so she doesn't like feel rejected by them if they don't like her if that makes sense another person says wow 100 percent makes girl, sense but she sounds way more mature than trisha even though she's younger than her who says something like that? Okay, moving on, let's talk about the Trisha Paytas Moses cat conspiracy. A couple of weeks ago, there was this rumor going around on Reddit and TikTok and Twitter that Trisha Paytas made Moses get rid of his cats. Wow. Dude, he doesn't even stop. watch his cats because he's Calm like, down, they, they ruin his shit. Like, the fact that you guys are talking Moses doesn't that. want his cats? It's like, that's just the price of having a cat. Like, cats, my thing is this. I guess, like, if it was, if it was like, start off as a kitten, like, you you don't really know how a cat's gonna grow up. Like, it could be, like, a wild cat or it could be a house cat. Regardless, like, fam, if that's the pet that I want or if it's like, you know, whatever, like, fam, I'm going to obviously take care of it, show it love, support and all that stuff. But I, it, it's just something I'm like, why, if I don't like the animal, why would I keep it? You see, like, and then I'm like, yeah, if it's destroying stuff, I'm like, fam, that's just the price of having a pet. I've had like, two, my in my whole life, I've had two dogs and both of those dogs have done something to this house and things i'm like there's like markings there's the second dog had like was trying to chew through like there was this like thick wooden door that like goes into my garage chewed like not through it but like on the panel part like on the side of it and then chewed through the garage wires and i'm like fam nah that that dog was wild that that was that dog but he took after his mom because i had the mom when you know when i did but uh yeah i was like that's that's wild but what did the mom do i remember she bit me in my chin and so we gave it we gave the dog to my dad because we was like i was no nah, i don't want that that dog's crazy it just tried to snatch my whole jaw off but anyways yeah i'm like but i mean i still like you know i just had that moment where i was like i don't want to look at the dog no more but i was like fam like nah it's like you know pets is chill like if you like them like them but I don't think nobody's not, they're not going to um, keep a pet and then, like, not like it. That don't make any sense to me. You're the reason that man's keep trying to leave in the day. He could be out having pina coladas by the pool. So he's got to come home and visit these little bitches. What's this one's name? Rain. Rain, is this your favorite, right? Rain's got to go. Dead. Dad. Mm -hmm. But you're not a dad. Or you're a dad now. I am. I have four kittens. <laughs> That's all you post on your Instagram, Marie. That's the only text message that I get from your kittens of your video video of your kittens. Moses? In my living place. So he'll keep him at the museum and not the house. Did you meet his cats? Hell no. I hate his cats. <laughs> I just don't like cats in general, and he's always with them. 
Moses and mm. Trisha went live on TikTok and actually addressed the situation. Moses said that he was, in fact, actually allergic to cats, but he just would foster them to take care of them, and he rehomed all of his cats. One of them was to Trisha Paytas' makeup artist, and they- I- Okay, now that, to me, just doesn't make any sense. That's- I don't know. I had something like that. I'm like, I'm not gonna- take care of something if i'm allergic to it because i'm like how can i take care of that like i'm like constantly like itching and stuff because it's like you know that's that's something i can put myself through so i've been like i i don't know me personally i probably i would have tried to figure out some sort of way to just eliminate the cats from like but he's like he was like holding it and he i i don't know that to me something don't add up with that all happy and safe now no it's not that it's just like it's making it even a bigger thing than what it really is. Yeah. It's, it's funny because it all started on the H3 subreddit. And they found, oh. like, they found like pictures of cats from like 2013, 2015. <laughs> like when I was at my friend's house, not even my cats. Where the water museum is, there's an alley and there's lots of kittens and cats. It's just like in Inglewood, people just feed the cats and there's alley cats. They would come to my garden, I would feed them. So when we met, when we were hanging out, I, there was no kittens even yet. And I remember because it, it was on Easter. Mm -hmm. One of the alley cats had kittens on Easter. That's why I remember that. Mm -hmm. And then I felt it's bad, so I put like... them in the museum. Like there's a little kitchen area and there's a small room. So I brought the kittens and I just put them there. I would go back, feed them, feed the mother. And then all those kittens were adopted. And then there was another alley cat that had enough, more kittens. And they did the same thing, but they actually stayed kind of outside, but I fed them. It's like, and most bro, of them. then allow them to be alley cats. I'm like, fam, I see cats and dogs all the time running up and down streets. I learned my lesson trying to be a hero or um, a yeah, pet hero and stuff. Freaking. So there is this house that had this husky there. And so I seen a husky in the street thinking like, oh, okay, that's the husky. Go all the way there just to see the husky that I thought that I had in my hand was going to be in this, um, was getting ready to put it in the backyard. That husky is already there. So I'm like, well, whose dog? So in total, there was two huskies there. There was the one I thought that I was holding. And then there was this random one. And I was like, fam, like, so at that point, I'm like, look, I pat the dog on the head, send it on its way. And then I just, I go my separate ways. I'm like, I just... Who I'm like, hopefully this is the dog's house. If not, I'm like, I don't know what to tell him. But yeah, because I there wasn't too long ago where that happened to me. I seen the dog and I was like, you know, I made sure it just stayed away from the street area and stuff. But I came back and the dog was gone. So I was like, okay, well, maybe it went back in the house or I don't know. Maybe somebody got it, but I ain't fooling with it. So anyways. They were adopted too. So there were like 10 kittens that I fostered that were adopted. The last three ones were Snow, River, and Rain. And Snow, Snow is with one of your makeup artists. She has a daughter, so I always like to give kittens to people that have kids. And they're like best friends. My contractor has a kitten. They're best friends with his daughter. And um, River and Rain were adopted by Dan, the producer of H3 Podcast. So he has the last two cats. Because um, I wanted them to stay together, because they were the last two. So he got both of them. And yeah, I never had cats live with me, because like my living situation is separated from the museum. So I could have them in the museum, but... I'm allergic to cats. If I touch a cat and touch my face or anything, my eyes will like swall get swollen and itch for like days and weeks. So it was hard because I would like every I mean, time I, I touch a cat, was, I, to go up I didn't see him so, like doing that. So always want you to like, touch still, them, like... them and sit on you and get on you. And I couldn't really do that. Like I would let them once in a while, but I just felt bad because I couldn't give them like the affection and care that they wanted. And anything, mm -hmm. anything. I mean, they bullied us about every possible subject there is. So at some point, you just become. Them to it, and respond. Like it is like just like ugh, it's not a joke, but like a joke at this point because it's like Moses's cats, and I'm like, oh my god. One user said, "There's probably a firing squad targeted on Moses behind the camera." <laughs> Another person said, "He had yeah. them inside the museum. How was he allergic?" Yeah. I call BS. Yeah. Moving on from that, Brittany it don't make any sense to me. I've watched. They're gonna probably find the video of him like where he was holding the cat, and then it's like some minutes down there, he's like, you don't see him like wash his hands, but you see him like wipe his eyes or something and they're all like okay his eyes ain't getting all swollen up there and then he's gonna come out and video like oh well my my allergies is a little different it's usually a 24 hour allergy but you gotta wait 24 hours for the allergies to kick so that's why it didn't show up right then and there and stuff and then they're like fam you we we seen that video too like he was like but it was this was a different this is a different cat it was it was a bear cat so overall, like that takes a little bit. I'm like, bruh, just just overall say you Trisha made you get rid of the cats. Like 
We ain't hearing that, Pierce bro. Pierce recently had a massive victory in her ongoing conservatorship case against her father, Jamie Spears. During her conservatorship hearing Wednesday, July 14th, Britney Spears told the court that she wants her father charged with conservatorship of According to an article by NBC News, experts say it's a possible criminal charge that could be brought, but it would require the pop star's legal team to prove Jamie Spears has been stealing her money within the past 13 years. Mm. Crowds gathered around during Britney's conservatorship hearing to show their support. According to an article by Fox News, Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge Brendy Penny approved Spears' court-appointed attorney Sam Ingham's resignation and signed off on his replacement of Spears' choosing. Matthew Rosengart, a former federal prosecutor. Adam Streisand, a trial attorney who represented Britney, said it perfectly, quote, it was about time. Britney took to Instagram to share the news, saying, coming along, folks, coming along. New with real representation today. I feel gratitude and blessed. Thank you to my fans who are supporting me. You have it's no like idea what it means like to me. It's like one of the most twisted, you know, just overall family stories I've heard. Like, it, you, you hear a lot of these, like, different things happening. Because I did it happen? At, well, it wasn't a conservatorship. But wasn't, like, something, like, with Lindsay Lohan's, like, father and things? He came out and said, I think it was her. And he came out and said some stuff, like, she, you know, was either on drugs. Or I can't remember exactly what. But it was, you know... There's just at times I just feel like that there's, you know, these these Hollywood parents be failing their kids. And I'm like, man, I just that's like one thing is, you know, if your kids got something good going for themselves, like you ain't got to do no extra stuff besides supporting, like trying to take control over it or whatever. It's like, nah, man, that's not the way. So and that's why he's in the situation he's in today where it's like, fam, you're getting painted out as a bad guy. And here it is. You could have just been getting painted out as a supportive father the whole time. Instead, you took this route thinking, oh, okay, I could get away with this and stuff. Like, it, it, it ain't gonna matter. Like, yeah, bro. I mean, it, it ain't like that he ain't gonna, you know, be doing anything for anybody else. But still, I'm like, that is, it's just, bro, you feel like, yeah, you, you failed as a parent, bro. You failed as a parent. I'm not a parent, but I know I wouldn't be, like, to look at this situation, I know I would stay far away from that. So, but anyway. To be supported by such awesome fans. God bless you all. P.S. This is me celebrating my horseback riding and doing cartwheels today i am so insanely happy for this even though there is still a very very long road ahead with this yeah. is just a tiny step in the right track under the same post celebrities from singer ariana grande to game of thrones star sophie turner commented to show their support ariana commented you are so very loved and supported and sophie said yes 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 hashtag free britney <laughs> Okay, now for this part of the video, I just wanted to do a little disclaimer. In this part, we're going to be touching on a topic that involves pedophilia, and by no mm. means is this tea. So if you're sensitive to this topic, this is your disclaimer, and you can skip to this timestamp. Now, ex Disney star Kyle Macy, who's I remember most when this story for came out, as Corey Baxter in That So Raven, and Corey in the House was charged with one count of immoral community out here in, in Washington. With all these ex Disney and like Nickelodeon stars, like get your shit together, man. According to an article by Deadline.com, he stands accused of sending porn material to a 13 year old girl. Kyle Macy originally had a court date scheduled in June, but it was pushed to Monday, July 12th. Court hearing that he just didn't show up to. In yep. the Deadline.com's article, there are passages that read, According to TMZ, which first reported the news, the case involves explicit photos, videos, and texts the actor allegedly sent to a teenage girl, a longtime acquaintance of his. She and her family sued Macy in 2019 when the girl was 13, alleging that he said, a minor attempted to commit a lewd act with a minor and annoyed or molested a minor. He denied the charges at the time. The girl's mother told police that Macy had known her since she was four years old. Wow. The outlet also That's quoted crazy. police as saying the material the actor sent included an explicit video clip and another that showed a man who appeared to be Macy exposing his genitalia. Oh my god. A $100,000 warrant has been issued for Kyle Macy's arrest, and so far, Kyle's attorney has been silent on the matter. British TikTok influencers, the Smithy family, who have amassed a following of 2.9 million followers, were the targets of a suspected arson attack, which resulted in their family home being burned oh, down. Whoa. According to BBC News, police are currently investigating the matter. Mr. Smith says he is devastated and fortunate his wife and three children aged That's crazy. Six, eight and six weeks escaped the blaze without injury. The pictures from the scene are just 
devastating. Also, according that to BBC News, about 25 firefighters spent 90 minutes tackling a fire started by a car alight at Nick Smith's home in Welling, southeast London, on Wednesday night. Nick Smith believes the attacker's motivation was jealousy and says, We've come to the realization that in the world of social media, you're better off hidden. He continues by saying, I just want to be with That's myself. crazy. I'm like, fam, I'm like, look, ain't nobody did absolutely nothing to you. That's why I just think people that carry on like that you should not be on the internet you shouldn't be watching a person 24 7 especially if you're gonna have a jealousy or a hatred towards them i'm like fam there's youtubers that started the same year as me okay put like probably some of them put in less work some of them put in more work they're in a much more better situation than i am it's like i think pewdiepie started the same year as me if not he started around that same time and look at him he's like the biggest youtuber of all time and so i'm like that type of stuff it's like you can only be happy for them so you can at least get a taste of it or to get on the same level of it um of it but and stuff but it's like to sit around hate be jealous and all this other stuff like why what is that doing for you like the fact that you could have killed then it's like if he had killed somebody then eventually yeah eventually they figured it out then it's like okay you're spending life in prison because you were jealous of a of tick of a tiktok family really like come on now it's like people y'all got to do better than that because it, it to me i'm like there is no amount of of success in this world that can make me jealous of another person you hear about that stuff all the time how people if anything's it'll probably be like a, a like a comedic jealous like i'm like just adding comedy or i'm being funny about it i'm not gonna be dead serious like oh i gotta go up to this person's house and st um you know start some issues or something i just like me i'm just gonna say some dumb stuff and just be funny about it but at the end of the day i'm not really jealous and stuff so it's it's just sad people carry on like this but anyways family and i want to be safe and i want to protect them and we need to step back to readjust, reassess, and find out what the best way to move forward is. At the end of the day, I'm not going to give up what's making us happy. So yep. the next couple of topics are going to it's be like on a little bit following of a lighter your dreams. Note. Thank God. In other news, Chrissy Teigen, American model and wife to all of me singer John Legend, took to Instagram to voice her input on cancel culture. For those of you who don't know, Chrissy was this. called out for her old tweets that resurfaced. More specifically, her tweets publicly harassing Courtney Stoden. She writes, "I don't really know what to say here. It just feels so weird to pretend." And nothing happened in this online world but feel like utter in real life going outside sucks and doesn't feel right being at home alone with my mind makes my depressed head race cancel club is a fascinating thing and i have learned a whole lot i don't even know if it's good to say any of this because it's going to get brutally picked apart but i don't know can't do the silent shit anymore if you or someone you know has also been canceled. Please let me know if there's a cancel club reunion <laughs> because I could use some time off my couch. Thank you and goodbye. I love you. I don't know. Yeah, man. it was like one time. I, I think, yeah, I, it wasn't even like a major like cancellation, but I remember people like tried to cancel me and I'm like, fam, I, that's, how you guys feel about me but everybody else in the world i'm like it ain't like i'm being fake towards people i'm like look whatever attitude you bring out because i'm like you're either gonna get a positive attitude or you're gonna get a negative attitude but i'm like i don't just go out of my way and just be negative towards people so i'm like usually that stuff is self-inflicted so that's why like the times where people did try to cancel me i'm like well why how did it all start like and you guys sit down and like really decode this and go to the root of it all how did this all start Cause I'm like, I wasn't the one that threw the first punch. So that's what I'm saying. Like I, it's, it's at times I just think, you know, well, I mean that situation, you know, with her, I'm like, yeah, I guess I could see why, but I'm like, I, I just think people, it's like, you're just sitting around looking through old tweets. Cause I had see the guy post a whole video of himself doing that to me. And I'm like, it's a waste of time. And it's just dumb. I'm like, bro, it's, if it's something was like really, you know, uh bad i feel like that yeah twitter well i mean it's i don't know t twitter overall can say and do something about it but i just feel like that uh people just going out their way trying to look for it and they're like oh i gotta cancel this person and you know come out in some big and i like and even i remember in that video the guy was like he was just reading off whatever tweets he saw it wasn't even like tweets of me saying something crazy or doing something crazy because i never go on the internet and say and do crazy things so yeah, so I just think people, they just need to, you know, sit down, stop, 
focus on yourself and just yeah leave leave people Um, alone what do you guys think about this post what do you guys think about cancel culture let me know in the comments down below moving on bryce hall uploaded a video titled i did this for his birthday he just goes around Hmm. kissing his friends because um content (laughs) take a look wow this little cute montage of bryce going around kissing a bunch of guys fine throw me under the bus (laughs) and that's just that was just the video just You could tell he's like, you could just look in his face and he's like, man, he's like, this is, this is what content creating, <laughs> like, I, it, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I guess like, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But he's like, fam, I, I can literally do anything I want. This, this was the video. This is what I had to upload for today. I don't anymore. Aiden Ross appeared on Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive. During the episode, the group starts talking about potential boxing fights they'd paid to see and the topic of Gabby Hanna versus Rice Gum. The ring came up. Take a look at that. I'm fighting somebody. You know who it is. I do. It's going to be crazy. Summer Rae. That would be crazy, but it's crazier than that. I would never fight somebody. I can't wait to see the first, like, boy and girl. Like, wasn't Rice chirping at that girl? That Gabby girl? Hanna. Oh, yeah, Gabby. Oh, yeah. I would pay great money. Wow. Yeah. I would pay would great pay. money. That would be sick. And well, my money would go on Gabby. What? I think oh yeah, she beat his ass. She's I think pissed. she'd beat his fucking ass all of my money. I would sell all my assets and put it. Not that I have anything against Rice, but dog, Gabby would beat the fuck out of him. He's man. gonna react to this clip on his Twitch. Yeah, he would. Well, I'm friends with him. He's not gonna come out. I just, nah, I know, but he's his got, community will. His community's coming. Oh, you're. He's, they're coming. <laughs> I'm gonna call my mom. Mom, Rice is cute. Oh, you're hates digging me. a hole. Not gonna lie, I totally agree with George. I know Gabby yeah. and Hannah has been in so much lately, but like she would beat Rice Gums. Yeah, ass, like because the gr- there's because the thing is is that if he goes into this and he's like, oh, I you know I just got a Mike Tyson her and stuff, and I'm like, fam, how does that look? Where it's like you already had this once. You overall had to take an L in this situation. It's like, and even if I felt like if Rice did try, Rice doesn't come off as somebody that's like good at fighting. Like, yeah, he'll have to like, of course, like, you know, go into this like with some sort of like boxing training and stuff. But I just feel like I don't know, Gabby. She just has like a little bit more of like of that animal in her to like where she did want to like get into boxing. I I could see it like potentially going. If she has like if she's like properly trained and all of that, and she ain't like you know doing like you know she's actually like doing some like boxing maneuvers like yeah i I think she can uh i i personally think she will win that fight against rice gum too so girl works out she's pretty fit like okay don't come for me all right you guys (laughs) that was it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i post new videos every single day all right bye I, you ain't getting me caught up with that, but anyways, uh, but yeah, I, yeah, it was a good video. I always enjoy Hot T's videos. So yeah, guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Hot T for more videos like this. Make sure you subscribe to her personal channel, Ray Rahimi, and her business channel, Build Your Pocket. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.